When a virus starts to spread, people can panic. According to the CDC, the risk to the public depends on several factors. The infection rate of the virus, the severity of the illness caused, and how easy or hard it is to contain the virus. Infection rate measures how many people one sick person will infect. If the virus is spread to just one other person and no more, there won't be an outbreak. If it spreads to more than one person, it can become an epidemic or a pandemic. Ebola spreads to an average of two people. Measles, on the other hand, is highly contagious. A sick person can infect as many as 18 people. Ebola is more lethal, and infected patients often die. The measles, though more infectious, is rarely deadly. Population density also matters. If you live in a rural area, you have less opportunity to spread a virus. But viruses spread faster in densely populated areas, where people come in frequent contact. In a health emergency, quarantine is one strategy used to contain a virus, until a vaccine can be developed to protect the population. Scientists are now working to determine the infection rate of the coronavirus. The World Health Organization estimates the rate between 1.4 and 2.5. For comparison, this is about as contagious as the flu. But because there's no vaccine yet, China is using quarantines and flight restrictions to keep people healthy around the globe. For Cronkite News, I'm Jordan Elder. And for more updates on the spread of viruses, including our coronavirus coverage, visit cronkitenews.azpbs.org. In the studio, Jordan Elder, Cronkite News.